what is going on everybody welcome for the first time or back to another dlj works video and this video is a follow-up to a photoshop tutorial that i've done in order to export video in photoshop 2022 on an apple m1 device so it doesn't have to be a mac mini it could be a macbook air or desktop or what have you but uh for the most part it's going to be on any any new mac computer that has an m1 chip in it now in this earlier video, I actually just talked about one solution using an Adobe Media Encoder, but I only mentioned Rosetta in passing. Well, this video, we're going to actually talk about how to actually do the solution for exporting or rendering your video for the frame by frame animation. And I'm going to show you what that looks like here in a second. This comes at the request of Annabelle Salinas in my comments section. What happens when you have animations by frames? Not a timeline like you, and then a video appears by a timeline, but I see what they was talking about after I actually experimented with it, and I was completely wrong in this, so I see what they are saying, so it seems to be a need for this. Uh, after crazy playing around with this, there only seems to be one solution, and that is going to be going to Rosetta, so I'm going to show everybody how to do that here on an Apple device. What we're going to do first is now we're going to go to our Finder folder, and we're going to go to our applications folder. And once we're here in the applications folder, you need to click and find whatever your Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop folder is actually located. Go up inside of it and you're going to actually look for the Photoshop app. Once we're on the Photoshop app, we're then going to right click on it. And we're going to go to get info. Now, once we're under get info, you will actually see that this little box will pop up and it's important that we actually make sure we go to the app, not the folder. So I want to make sure that that's clear. But when you right click on an app under the general, you're going to see this little box that says open using Rosetta. It's supposed to be a previous emulation, um, I guess, from a previous Photoshop. I don't really know how that works. So I'm not even going to try to explain it, but you want to make sure that this box is checked. All right. So we're going to check this box here. And I'm going to leave this minimized just for keepsake. It should work, but just in case it doesn't, we can always go back and double check that it is. All right. Now, if you don't have the Rosetta box checked, then the render video option will not show up. The render video option is not going to show up. If you look at my previous video, why this is low, let me explain this. You will see that the render option doesn't show up at all if you're just using a standard 2022 Photoshop. Okay. So we have to have it pop up. So what I'm going to do is I already have a file that I was working on where I was just trying to demonstrate the frame by frame option. There's a difference between this. This is a lot simpler than the actual timeline where you have to run animations. All right. And then the actual little stream. So if I hit play, I just have this little square just kind of moving here to the bottom corner. All right. So now what do I want to do when I actually want to render this as a video now i'm gonna actually stop this here so what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna go to file and now i'm gonna go to export and when i go to export we can see that the render video option is available so then i'm gonna go ahead and go to click render video and like i said this by far is the only solution i found in terms of you actually exporting the frame by frame photoshop solution is by actually going and doing it on rosetta so uh, we can select any folder that we want to. I'm actually just render it here, okay, to this folder. And we're going to leave the settings here, Adobe Media Encoder. You want to make sure that that's actually selected, not the Photoshop image sequence. Uh, you can pretty much leave all of this pretty much as it is, um, unless there are some other settings that you know will fit best for your video. You can actually do QuickTime, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to leave it as H.264, uh, high quality, size document because it's saved to the YouTube video type right now document frame rate 30 frames per second and then we're going to go ahead and hit render since i've already done this i'm going to cancel this we're going to go back to the folder and i'm going to now go to the folder that i rendered it in this is it right here nope i take that back that's not it this is it and this is the actual video that we have and i'm gonna hit play and as you can see it correctly rendered now 
this is the only solution like i said that i found in order to achieve this if you're if you are creating a frame by frame animation some people are, are animators and graphic artists and just standard artists or what have you and creating cartoons and they're using photoshop but they need to render it as a video and not, no other file so this is going to be the only solution if you're using an apple m1 device now i'm going to go back real quick here and show you that let me close this photoshop out if i take it off of rosetta which i should still have up here I'm going to close this out. I'm going to X this out now. And now I'm going to open up Photoshop. Okay. And I'm going to open this up. If the render video option is still there, that's going to be pretty miraculous. And I won't have an explanation for that. So we're about to find out. So I'm going to go to File. We'll go to Export. All right. And it is not there. So. It's just render image sequence and paths to Illustrator. There is no render video option. So if you're using either the timeline uh, for the for regular animations like you saw in my previous video, or you're trying to do it frame by frame, then a Rosetta solution is probably going to be best for you. You can still use the Adobe Media Encoder, but that solution is not going to work for the frame by frame animation that you're trying to achieve. Trust me. I spent like two to three hours trying to look and read things and trying to play around with a lot of like um, options here to see if I can actually like make this out. And if you actually have any of these frames selected, it's only going to actually export that one single frame for the video. All right. So I uh, hope this video was helpful. If you really found this video to really solve your issue, buy me a coffee. You know, hey, I, I got more YouTube to do. I, I, I need a little bit more change to actually keep doing these videos. So I like coffee or even green tea. I actually am a matcha green tea type of guy. So anyway, you don't have to do that. I'm just glad to actually help you guys out and everything. So but anyway, uh, leave a comment below if this has really like helped you guys out. And I will see you all in the next video. God bless and talk to you soon.